21st Century Skills, the Young Entrepreneur Program, and Something Personal, this week on Tuesdays with Schwartz. Live from the Leaf Academy Studios, welcome back to the Tuesdays with Schwartz podcast. Every Tuesday, I take a look at one 21st century skill behind the scenes of the Young Entrepreneur Program and share something personal. The only way to watch the entire podcast is to subscribe to the free newsletter. The link is in the description. So first, let's look at one 21st century skill. And in order to do that, I created a wheel to choose which 21st century skill we're going to look at this week. And it looks like the 21st century skill for this week will be problem solving. Therefore, what problem are we going to take a look at this week? So how about we do a common one? Every business runs into this problem. Yes, at some point in your business life cycle, you find out that you're not making enough money. That's right. Your expenses are too high for the amount of revenue you bring in. I've been there myself when I ran a multi-million dollar company. I was looking at my P&L statement and I was like, we do not generate enough money to justify these expenses. So Elon Musk said, uh, saw the same thing when he bought Twitter. Twitter just didn't make enough money to justify the amount of expenses that they had. So he had to cut expenses. So what's the solution? And that's the point. The easy solution is to just cut expenses, right? I mean, that's easy. You don't make enough money, therefore you cut expenses. The problem is that that's just a short-term fix. It doesn't actually solve the real problem. The real problem is you don't have enough revenue. And so that becomes the answer. Therefore, you have to increase your revenue. But how do you do that? And when I talk to CEOs and business owners, this is where most people just get stuck. On the one hand, they want to increase revenues, but on the other hand, they just don't know how. In other words, they're saying, what do I do? So I've been working with a new company recently. I decided to do some pro bono work in exchange to build some case study examples. And this company is in this exact situation. They have a handful of employees. They make X amount of money, but the amount of money they make isn't enough to grow. In fact, they are barely staying above water. So what do they do? If you want to learn more about this situation, I created a case study that you can download for free on my website, leafacademy.org. The case study is 100% free to download and will give you tons of information if you run into the same problem. But before I give you the answer, I want to highlight a common issue that I see when I talk to leaders in business and in education. And this common problem is assuming you can solve the problem on your own. I see this far too often. What ends up happening is that businesses and schools allow a problem to go on much longer than it needs to go on. Like they could solve the problem, but they just don't know what to do. So here's why that happens. Our school system taught us all that it's a bad idea to ask for help. That's right. When you were in school, everyone who asked for help was shamed. Therefore, we have been taught your intelligence is wrapped up in your ability to solve your own problems. But this couldn't be further from the truth. Problem solving happens to be a 21st century skill. Let me repeat that. Problem solving is a skill. That means if you never learned how to problem solve, then why would you think you could solve complex real world problems? I'm known as a 21st century skills expert. That's my reputation. That's why people contact me. One of the skills I know really well is problem solving. I know how to analyze a problem the right way. I know how to ask the right questions. And I also know how to find the right solution. When you get to become an expert problem solver, the first thing you learn is that every problem can have a hundred different solutions, but only a handful will actually work. And any experienced CEO or business leader knows that's true as well. And that's because they have seen really smart solutions fail. If you've ever wondered why clever solutions sometimes fail, it's simply because it wasn't the right solution for that problem. And that's what happened to this company I was working with. They wanted to increase revenues and sales and they thought they understood the problem. That was mistake number one. They assumed they knew the problem And because they assumed, they ended up being off the mark. Therefore, the solution they created just didn't work. So that's why I needed to sit down with the CEO and help them see the real problem first. 
If you want to learn more about this situation, please go to my website, leafacademy.org, and download this free case study. It's 100% free and will show you what the real problem was, the solution we came up with, and how we implemented the solution in real life. I want to thank you for watching this Tuesday's with Schwartz podcast clip. If you want to watch the entire episode, all you need to do is subscribe to my free newsletter. The link is in the description. Thank you for joining me. And until next week, this is the school doc saying, see you next week.